Caleb Brow here. Uh, today I wanted to do a little how-to tutorial. Um, what I got here is my little Shakespeare ugly cast on my little micro graphite rod. And uh, this is my brim combo right here. And I'm going to show y'all today how to do a slip bobber rig. And I used to do regular corks, regular bobbers, you know, the kind that you pinch on and whatnot. But um, I decided I like these better. They're a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, they're well worth it. Anyway, let's cut the chit chat and we'll show you how to do it. All right. So the items that you will need for your slip rig are as followed. First off, you need some fluorescent beads. You can get them just about anywhere. This one comes with some medium ones and some very large ones. All right. You will need a string. You can also buy these by themselves or they come sometimes with the beads. You will need a hook for whatever size fish you're trying to catch, in this case brim. You will need a teeny tiny um, clip on weight and then you will need a cork and these are slip bobbers this is kind of the regular looking one as you can see they have a little hole that goes all the way through them and uh, some like this have a weight on the bottom this is a small one they come so well they're a little bit bigger this one is cool because it has a unique shape and it allows you to just twist it and you can just pull it right off the line and then this is like what's been used for years and years and it is like a um, it has these two sticks out of the end of it basically the same thing as this right here what we're going to be using though is this so without further ado let's see if we can get this thing going all right so this is what you do right here you get your line and you get this string right here and you put the string the line through the string all right pull it a little ways and then push the bobber this little stick thing out of the way all right things out of the way and then you just pull it taut all right and after you're all done you snip these edges off all right next thing you do is you get one of your little fluorescent beads and you just slip it on there all right like so and then what it does is it stops the bobber all right next thing stick your bobber on stick it right through the hole like so and then boom and then you want to go and tie your hook on and now I like to do good old clinch knot which is just loopity loopity loo it a few times if I can get it to slide camera's in an awkward position right now but loopity loo it a few times Stick it through the hole, pull it tight. That's a clinch nut, just in case. Now, next thing is optional, but what I like to do is whenever the thing floats, whenever you cast it out, sometimes the bobber doesn't like to come up because it gets stuck in the hook, like that. So what I like to do, and what you're probably going to do anyway, is just put... A little bitty pinch weight. Hold on, I gotta bite this thing. Put you a little bitty pinch weight right there towards the edge of it. And that way, the bobber stops right there and doesn't go over your hook. Now, how this thing works is, let me zoom out a little bit, is when you go to cast, the bobber stays right here. So if you need to get in grassy areas or anything, you don't have a whole bunch of line standing around. So you can just pendulum this thing under grass and trees and whatnot you need to. When it hits the water, the bobber goes up, but the hook goes down. And when you want to go change depths, you just grab this thing and pull it up or down and pull it taut again. 
But what you want to do now is you just want to cut these edges off. It leaves you about half an inch or so. And then go fishing. You know, this video was a little bit clumsy and not well thought out. But, you know, it was just a quick video I wanted to do for y'all. Anyway, this is Caleb Rowell. Thanks for watching.